turn this to this. So first up is the items you need. You're going to need your Mod Podge gloss. You're going to need a little brush. You're going to need this little squeegee thing. Some scissors and an exacto knife right there. Um, your comics or whatever uh, sort of paper design you're going to be using. And then what you're going to do, this one's already on. So what you're going to do is the first step, you're going to get your Mod Podge and you can see the glare there. You can just spread a nice glaze over it. And you're going to put, lay out your piece how you want it. You're going to kind of squeegee it out so that the least amount of bumps and air stay underneath. This one already has a few bumps, but it gives it a little texture anyways if that happens, but at least you, you just don't want some bubbles, big bubbles underneath so that it doesn't start peeling off. Um, as you can see, this kind of like leans over it. But that's okay because that's where the exacto knife is going to come in so you can cut it off all right so i'm going to do this next middle piece by cutting out little sections of comics and just um aligning it you know good and covering up that whole middle section so so i have put all the pieces in place as i want them and now my first step will be to apply the mod podge at the bottom of the page and glue on with the Mod Podge, my largest pieces first, which are going to be the two outer ends in this case. And then I will work my way um, with the middle using, er, sticking down first the larger pieces that I've kind of assembled towards the bottom. Um, so Mod Podge first, stick, do all of them, and then uh, it will be cutting out all the edges after that. So once you cut up your comic for the middle, you have your two side pieces. This is a different one that I'm working on. But you put your two side pieces, or however you do it, your, your largest pieces first. And then you go cutting to fill in the di different little gaps. Um, you're going to use your X-Acto knife to cut through the side, to, through the edges so that you leave a clean cut. Um, and then once we do the cut, we're going to glaze on top the whole uh, drawer. We're gonna glaze it with the Mod Podge. And then when you get to the edges, you kind of like dab it a little bit, just like that, and then kind of spread it. And that'll um, make sure to like stick it down so you don't have any edges sticking out. Um, it's really important that you use the Mod Podge well under and make sure the whole paper sticks because if you do have any edges kind of sticking out or not fully stuck down, then it is going to start lifting and, and the paper is going to eventually lift off. And if you have little kids that you're doing this for, like me, that my son is too, um, and they see like a little piece of paper lifting up, they're going to be tempted to rip it off. So you want to make sure you don't have that. I will show you the finishing, um, the the finishing project, the finished project. Excuse me. Um, once I'm done cutting all these edges and glazing the Mod Podge on top. Okay, so as you can see, I've cut all my edges. Drawer looks nice and even. I've already layered this side. You can kind of see the glaze with the Mod Podge. Um, I wanted to show you how to layer it. So I have a nice amount here. I'm just going to glaze it completely over all the paper. 
This is going to give it a really nice feel. Um, it also adds texture, which is really cool. Um, another project that I'm going to be doing is um, creating my own puzzle. And with that, the glaze works really well. It gives it a cool puzzle texture. So I'm going to finish this and show you the results. Alright, so this is what it looks like completely glazed with the Mod Podge. Um, it dries fairly quickly, so it's not like you need to leave it drying for a long time. And then you just put it in the drawer and you're good to go. Um, if for whatever reason you have any edges that like pop out or um, you have, which I don't, okay, no. Um, or you have, you know, any spots you miss, you just go ahead and apply it. But this is pretty much the last step. It's very easy. So just cut, place where you want it to be placed, Mod Podge, the paper, and then Mod Podge again. And you have yourself a custom drawer. Here's the finished product guys, hope you enjoyed this video.